and get everything. Here we see support worker Sam provide James with different types of assistance to make an omelette. Sam instructs James to get a handful of mushrooms. So you're going to grab a handful of mushrooms. He uses prompting and instructing to explain how to cut broccoli. So you just want to, you're good at cutting, so we just want to cut, I'm going to cut them here and cut them off. So however you feel mm. you can do it, mm, yeah, Kim. you feel better with me doing it. Yeah. So I'm going to come over this way with your right handed. So we're going to. James asks for help. Cut and guiding is used oh, do, as they both hold the knife. Look at that, perfect. So what we're going to do, we're going to cut it down the middle so it fits into here a bit better. Both of them hold so, the knife so that James right. can yeah. cut the broccoli. There you go, there you go. So how many eggs do we do? You remember? Three. Sam asked James how many eggs are needed to remind him to do the next step. James can crack the eggs independently, so the right support for this is standing back. This is followed by instructing that blending is the next step. Perfect. All right. Time to blend. Yeah. So let's go over to the blender. So yeah, it's got to like clip it. Then, in instructing how to lock the blender into yep. place. There you go. Now lock it in. Other way. Perfect. Now is it on? Yep. As well as gesturing to push the buttons. Let's press this one. Yep. And that one. Hand over hand assistance is provided to light the burner. Notice how the support worker keeps adjusting the type and amount of assistance he provides. At times, the support worker provides assistance, sometimes he stands back and lets James do it himself, and other times he performs a step, or part of it, to keep the activity moving along smoothly. This support worker is skilled in judging the type and amount of assistance James needs, as well as providing it, so that James participates successfully. In this next activity, Mal is supported to make a toasted sandwich. Yeah, we're going to have a pig or toasted sandwich? Yeah. Okay. We'll bring it over here. It's the whiteboard. Yeah. Shana angles the container so that Mal can scoop the margarine. Then she holds the bread in place while Mal spreads the margarine. Hand over hand assistance is provided to guide the knife so that it's spread evenly. Do you want me to help you spread it out a little bit? Notice how the type and amount of assistance changes when Mal performs each of the steps. Yeah. 
Shana asks Mal if he's yeah. ready to put the sandwich in the press. Are you ready to pop it in? Then they do this together. Just be careful at top. And Shana closes the lid. Put that down. Yeah. Mal yeah. takes the chopping board and knife to the sink. He doesn't need assistance to do this. The right support is standing back. Guiding is used to cut the sandwich. Shana spins the plate, then she holds the bread so that Mal can cut it. In both of these scenarios, we saw the support workers provide different types of assistance. They used asking, instructing, prompting, gesturing and guiding. They adjusted the type and amount of assistance so that the person participated successfully. <laughs> 